Okay, so this video isn't going to be too big, just a little bit of predictions from some major virtual reality headset creators. Nothing too fancy. And then a couple goodies and treats you guys might be interested. Uh, check out the timestamps right here somewhere to find out when those are. As many of you may already be aware, Oculus Connect 6 is going to be later this week on Wednesday and Thursday at the San Jose McGannery Convention Center in California. At this convention, or conference, whatever you want to call it, one of the key pieces that is going to be exhibitioned is going to be Michael Abrash's predictions about the future of virtual and augmented reality. Over the last few years, at Oculus Connects 1 through 5, he's made specific predictions about where he sees the future of VR. And during that time, he's given us very specific time frames. Like, for instance, there was one he noted that we would have highly reliable hand tracking and haptic hands in 2028. And another one that he said was highly reliable eye tracking and foveated render rendering should be doable by 2022. He said that last one last year. And that is, in fact, something that it, it sounds reasonable when, when you really, really dig down into it. Because we're, we're seeing the first levels of foveated rendering in many consumer level products with the Oculus Quest, as well as the upcoming PlayStation VR 2. And I believe the index has it as well, but don't quote me on that. Weird, weird thing for me to say, I know, but I, I never actually take notes of anything. So that's why. Um, anyway. At Oculus Connect 6, we are likely to see even more predictions, not only about where we can be within the next year, but possibly within the next five. So hopefully we end up learning something a little bit newer and something we can all be super excited about as time progresses. So I personally won't be able to attend. However, you may be able to watch it live via your Oculus or Facebook systems, whatever you want to use. So Yua Yoshida, the Sony Interactive Entertainment Worldwide Studios boss, believes that virtual reality still has a long way to go before it reaches its full potential. Many of the things that could be used to improve virtual reality will likely be outlined by Mr. Abrash's presentation at Oculus Connect 6 as we can expect later this week. Now as far as what we can expect specifically out of PlayStation, Yoshida expresses his optimism by saying, quote, I think the hardware experience will improve the VR experience. VR has a lot to learn even at companies that have been making games for a long time. I realized that as soon as I started VR, I had a lot to I had to learn a lot because I couldn't do it with normal TV games, but we had to have many guidelines for danger, but with the developer's ingenuity, we were able to see how to do it, and VR makes us think about what the human abilities are. And after three years, such knowledge is growing. So thankfully, because he understands that VR still has a long way to go, we can hopefully see not only that optimism, but the willingness to grow and the physical and technological capability to do that improvement. Because Sony and PlayStation in general are, well, vice versa, but I think I know. Uh, because they are working to be a front runner in the virtual reality landscape, it is likely that they will try to lead that very same engine results. 
So personally, I am hoping and looking forward to what the PlayStation VR version 2 is actually going to bring us when it launches at some point, whether it's late 2021, maybe 22. So it appears as though Apple has published a trademark at the US patent office that related to a new mixed reality headset that would deal with the accommodation convergence mismatch problems. So generally speaking, when you put on a VR, a standard VR headset, your eyes and brain are going to have trouble dealing with the, the focal distance when, you're, when your eyes attempt to focus on whatever thing is screen. Apple has used some creative tricks, which I won't personally go into in this video, but you can find them in the article I'll cite. But Apple has, has used some crafty tricks to deal with that. So there won't be as much eye strain and your eyes will be able to focus appropriately. And you won't have as much, uh, as much mental stress when you're wearing Apple's virtual reality or mixed reality headset. So hopefully uh, we can all enjoy that and sleep a little bit easier knowing that Apple has dealt with a problem that many people, well, not many, but at least a few people are dealing with. So finally, from now up until the end of the year, Samsung Odyssey owners will be able to cash in on two free months of Vive Port Infinity. The other major headsets, Index, Vive, and Oculus, have all received a similar discount up, up, up until this point. For those of you that don't already know, Viport Infinity is HTC's answer to Xbox, Now or Xbox Game Pass or PlayStation Now, where you'll be able to pay a relatively nominal fee, either $13 a month or $100 for the full year, where you'll be able to enjoy unlimited downloads from its library of continually growing games and experiences, as well as a discount to monthly coupons, uh, weekend deals, and free games that you'll be able to keep regardless of whether or not you continue the service. A few major titles that you'll be able to enjoy as part of this deal include Apex Construct, I Expect You to Die, Pixel Ripped, 1989, Tilt Brush, and transpose, just to name a few. Uh, thankfully, that that list, as I said, continues to grow. So, for those of you that don't already enjoy this service, now would be a great time to pick that up, just because there's less that you have to pay for in the long run. And I get that it's subscription versus purchase and license and all that stuff, but it, it really is worth the value, in my opinion. Not that my opinion value is worth much, but you get the idea. If you guys are still here and you're feeling charitable in some way, you can activate that charity in a few different ways. The first one, you can go to HumbleBundle.com and pick out one of the bundles that they have for sale there. When you get one of these bundles, you're not, you're not only able to get some good software or books or games or what, whatever it is that you're you're choosing but you're also able to support a charity of your choice they have a few different ones available so you don't have to feel necessarily tied down to helping children or animals the, even though well animals are always a good one aren't they and then if that is up your speed I'm selling these headphones on Amazon link on screen I personally use them I really like them and they've been working out really well for me. If that still doesn't really work out well for you, I've got a link on screen also for my Patreon. Well, up here somewhere, I, I don't know where I'll put it, but you'll find it somewhere, I hope, probably, maybe. 
uh, I think this is a good place to end the video. If you guys liked it, let me know. If you hated it, let me know. And as always, don't forget to tell me how I'm such a horrible person for giving you all this news. Ta-ta for now.